was your inspiration to enforce the mobile fourth ban? Well, Katie, as you know, um, I think not only were mobile phones seen as distractions, because pupils like to listen to music, uh, they have their headphones out a lot, but that wasn't the reason for me suggesting the ban on mobile phones. I think the concern that most head teachers have is that mobile phones are used for cyberbullying. They're a powerful computer, I appreciate that, but when they're used as weapons to hurt other children, it's completely unacceptable. And every school has a problem with cyberbullying. And although I may not be able to do anything about it if it happens outside of school, we certainly can ensure that children are happy and feel safe in school and protected from things like that. So do you think it's going to make like, a big impact on our school? Well, there's a lot of research that's been done into this, as you can imagine, particularly in America. And what they found is that banning schools that ban mobile phones can add uh, improved results by up to six percentage points. It's the same as adding an extra school week onto a school year. And it also, it, again, a lot of research shows that children and adults, because teachers are the same, cannot multitask successfully. So you're effectively present, you might be in the classroom, but you're not really with it because you're distracted by the mobile phone. So I, I'd like to think that it will impact on, on education uh, and standards in the school as well. I really believe that, and, it, and there certainly is a lot of evidence to, to suggest that that's the case. How long do you think it's going to take for like the pupils to get used to the phone? Well, I've been pleasantly surprised by the response from pupils. You yourself said you might not like it, but you understand why. The school council have been supportive of it as well. The parents that I've spoken to, uh, we've done a lot of work with primary schools in the last couple of weeks. <coughs> and the year six parents, of course you don't have mobile phones in primary schools in the main, understand why. So I'd like to think that they might, or, or ch the children in my state school might not like it, but they understand why. And I hope you, want, you believe now that I would never make a decision that was going to have a negative impact on you. Hi Olivia. I'm going to ask you a question because Katie just asked me what do you think or how long do you think it will be before pupils accept the ban? What, what do you, what's your view about this mobile phone ban and the reasons I've given so far for the ban on the phones? Well, it's going to be a change but I'm not really, I don't really use my phone that much in school because they've got to be like the iPad and they're saying it's the old car so it's not really going to make a big difference on me but with some people it's going to take a lot of getting used to. Absolutely. Okay, good. I think in the first instance speak to either the school council, that's the vehicle for all our children to have their say, or form tutor, you know how effective circle time is in the mornings to be able to offload to your form tutor. Um, but ultimately you, you speak to somebody because I would like the opportunity to explain the decision. I've already gone into assemblies, um, the house assemblies this week to explain why. It's getting people talking about it, but I think it's so important that you you understand why I'm doing this, which is why we're doing the interview as well. Hopefully then it's a quick way of reaching out to everyone to say, look, this really is in your best interest. It's a bit like making leafy greens, vegetables, you know, and not letting you have chips every day. This is good for your mental health. I want children to be happy in school, not distracted. It affects sleep patterns. It affects all sorts of things. It's a powerful computer, has its place in society, but not when you're learning. What could a pupil expect if they're caught with their phone out to class? We have talked about sanctions. I think what a lot of schools do, in my previous school, um, we never got it quite right, but I think every school can try. I would like to think that we don't need to react and, 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 and take phones off people because most people are <coughs> sensible. But the reality is, if children are seen to abuse um, their mobile phone and will take it out and use it in lessons, they will be confiscated by the member of staff, kept under lock and key until the parents can come to collect them. So it would make sense for the parents to make sure that their child is not bringing this, their phone to school, or if they are, because they absolutely have to have it on them, um, to inform parents of their whereabouts after school, that they keep it well, you know, well away that we don't see it and they only use it after school, <coughs> which I think is what young Katie has agreed to, to, to do and said that she needs her phone at the end of the day, but she will keep it in the bag until the bell goes and she's on her 